Hey guys, Dustin here, and today we get to play with the 10-point Vengeant S440. 440 meaning that these bolts are traveling up to 440 feet per second. So pretty awesome, it's got a great trigger, and look, it is just super compact. It, 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 it's less than six inches wide once you cock it. Pretty neat, but I don't want to just talk about all the details right off. Let's shut up and shoot. So at 21 yards <laughs> down there, really? Uh, we have a paintball set up, we're gonna see how close we can get to it. Let's just put it right on and see what happens. <laughs> oh, snap! I, got it. I think maybe I just hit the T. Let's find out. All right, there it is. We must have hit the T. Look at the T, though. We nailed that T. It is gone. Wow. Okay, so up a touch. Okay, actually, I meant to hit the tee. I, I totally hit, meant to hit the tee because then the ball was just hanging there in the air for the uh, uh, that slow-mo, so nailed it. All right, you ready? <laughs> ready. Gonna hold a touch higher this time. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Gotta stop the slow-mo before we lose it. That was cool. Well, I would uh, say that's a clean hit. That's pretty accurate. So we're off to a great start with two shots and two hits. This Joker's just stinking accurate and quiet and just a whole feat of engineering in itself. Where old crossbows just seem to be like, hey, let's just turn a uh, compound on its side and give it a trigger. You know, that's really what I started out with years ago. Okay, after Top Shot, that's for season five. I watched Phil in the final challenge, did a little cameo on there and all that jazz. And I was like, oh, that crossbow so cool. Look at how big and bulky this thing is compared to this. And of course, they're both uncocked. But this one doesn't collapse down like maybe two more inches. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of a joke. And it actually hurt me. It's, it's been discontinued, thankfully, because the limbs have had to be replaced. My limbs have almost had to been replaced, as in the first time I cocked it, these primitive style cocking ropes that you use to pull the string back, the, they sheared. They sheared off and it, give, it, uh, it busted my finger open and now I have uh, scars to remember it by. However, with this whole accu slide and just this crossbow here, man, this Vengeant rocks, okay? It's super safe because to cock it, all we do is push the little unlocking lever here, slide the slide down, and we have two clicks. One is your dry fire inhibitor, and then the next is gonna be our trigger sear. And we take our handle, <laughs> our cocking handle out of this. We're gonna have a, yeah, we're gonna have turkey for lunch. And with five pounds of energy, it cocks. But the other cool thing is, if you've seen some of the other so-called high-end crossbows that I've seen out there, if you let go, this can wind back on you, or it sounds like a roller coaster, because you have your safety ratcheting going on there. We're half cocked right here, and nothing's happening. In fact, I can change my mind. I don't want to shoot anymore. I can go back. Oh, wait, I do want to shoot, because of a turkey. <laughs> and it just continues to cock because it's got a braking system in there. Very impressive and very easy, very quiet. You could just do it in the woods if the hogs came back in again, or a turkey. <laughs> and there's our click, so now we're cocked. And then we go back two or three, okay, three or four rotations, and then it's ready for the next time. Stow our lever, and now we're ready to rock. Of course, when you load those arrows, make sure that you do it safely. Do keep your fingers clear of everything the whole time, but that is something else that this has an advantage over other crossbows. Other crossbows, as you can tell, when this is cocked, you have a massive angle here. And gosh, this doesn't even have a safety shelf. Yikes. You put a thumb up here, you can lose it. This one has a safety shelf, but look at how small. You can hardly put, your, okay, if you're forward enough, you could put your thumb in, but back here, it'll be behind the string. So even better on the safety stuff there, keep everything intact. The trigger. It's got a three and a half pound two-stage trigger with like zero creep. Absolutely impressive. Then your stock has all these cutouts, so it's a very lightweight crossbow as well. The scope that comes with it. This is a whole package deal. You get a quiver that mounts all your arrows. You get six arrows and then this cool bag over here. 
all that comes in the package and even a bubble level this scope actually works you know bdc scopes on rifles and all i'm like no that's just a marketing gimmick because different velocities of bullets and ballistic coefficients all that stuff i don't pay attention to but in the crossbow world this works instead of magnification you set it to your actual bolt speed so mine was an impressive four and a half feet per second, time after time, shot after shot. I was amazed that it was that consistent. So when I set it for four and a half, I mean, 405 uh, feet per second, once I zero at 20 yards, I walked all the way back to 60 and I was hitting within an inch of the bullseye the whole time. So very impressive there. And uh, so it's, it's a fun crossbow. It's a super safe one. It's super quiet. Let's shoot a little more. Okay, so I'm just ready to play some more. So I got these center point premium broadheads. That's really cool because they're kind of like a jet. All right, when we shoot them, they're going to be all closed up. And then as soon as they hit something, they're going to hit those, those dull wings to make the broadheads pop out. And then we have an almost two inch cutting pattern. I figure, let's see what this does to a melon or a turkey. I'm glad these fold up or else it wouldn't be able to fit in the front of the bow there. All right, turkey, you ready? Okay, this is not a safety violation. This is a convenient lunch if things go sideways. All right, I'm gonna hold the same that I did for the paintball and we'll see if we had any point impact shift. Oh, that was more <laughs> impressive than I thought. Holy smokes. <laughs> That was surprisingly brutal. <laughs> Look at that. It's got like a quad cut all the way through it. We're totally eating this later, but that was that was very impressive. Because, okay, the way archery and, you know, just, just hunting and with that in general works, it's not by devastation of force and transfer energy. It's by blades that cut vital organs and then let you harvest your game. But that was surprisingly more effective than I expected. Have you ever thought about making a living in the firearms industry? If you like gun repair and ballistics and learning about firearms, Sonoran Desert Institute's online courses might be exactly what you're looking for. So to find out more, visit them at sdi.edu or call 1-800-336-8939. All right, we are going to check our zero at 20 yards and then move on back after that. Ooh, that's pretty good. Right stinking beside the other one. It's risky to do this, but we, we, we lucked out this time. We didn't split anything. Oh, what's the harm, right? I mean, one more. You guys want to see how accurate it is. And if you don't know the exact spot I'm aiming for, you're just going to think I'm off course. So, shoot a group. Oh, that didn't sound good. I think we got something. Yeah, that was, that was, oopsie. Maybe it'll look cool on the high speed though, right? So, we've got a knock busting good time somewhere. Oh, we, we, so we, we broke that knock. It had to go somewhere. But uh, that arrow is now out of commission. Oh, man, we did. We hit him. Yikes. Okay, but look at that group. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you don't know where I was aiming, though. I was aiming for that. Because on the reticle, it looked like that was a really... You know, this is a weird painted deal. And I, uh, so in, I went right for that, but on this side. So that... That everything was looking beautiful. Oh, that one probably got kicked off course because it's not. So we hit it and went, woo! Well, that's cool. <laughs> so, with that busted knock down there, it has me thinking it's already broken. Why not, you know, just see what we can do to it? Let's see what we got. Oh, we got it again. <laughs> nice. Man, that was so close. Look, we are, of course it was close. Oh my gosh, that's a heck of a group. You gotta love that. All right, we're gonna see how we can group at 60 yards. Um, we're just gonna hold dead center and just trust the reticle, see how well it does. It's showing about three and a half foot of drop from my 20 yard zero because I can see my 20 yard reticle. So that's our drop that we're going to launch it in there. I've turned on the illumination on this reticle because it has red and green illumination. And since I foolishly am shooting at a black target, I should put something else down there. Anyway, we're going to shoot in the middle of it. Now I can at least see my green reticle. Oh, 
that's looking pretty good. It's right beside the bullseye. All right, that was a little higher than the last one, but it would still take out a heart. Oh, we better stop there because I think I heard arrow on arrow. Let's check it out. Not arrow on arrow, so I guess we're okay. But man, that one hit dead center. That was the one that went a touch high, and I think that was our first one. But if you put a deer's heart right there, I think you're gonna be fine. So, pretty cool at 60 yards just with the factory reticle. That was cold, okay? That was the same as I, I sighted it in 420, and now I just use the same reticle at 60. Oh yeah, we're really about 63 yards because I wanted to be in the shade. Right, so that was some fun with the 10 point Vengeant S440. It's pretty cool. Now mine is the Veil Camo. They do have the graphite black one, which looks pretty cool too. Maybe we just get both, right? And in a time when ammo is so hard to come by, it's nice to be able to reuse some ammo and then shoot as quiet or quieter than a suppressed rifle. So kind of cool there. Now they retail around two grand, but I know that over at Sportsman's Guide, you can get 200 bucks off if you do the buyer's club thing. And then, but that includes everything. The, the bolts, the bag, the optic, the level, everything the quiver all that good stuff and so you can check it out there thanks for tuning in today guys remember to like subscribe hit notifications and all that stuff okay i love you bye bye come here come here you come here you come here <laughs>